Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's do another run through the cave of ordeals, preferably as a human. <laughs> and once again, I refilled all of my poop, and I got now fairy tears instead of a uh, blue potion. So I'm actually, so I'm actually better equipped than I used to be in uh, in the, my first run. And my first run was. Way, way too over conservative. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, here's the first difference of the second run. As you can see, we've got a much more powerful version of the uh, typical Moblin. You know, that's got our red version there. And that was normally just a simple two shot enemy on the first run through here. But anyway, yeah, as I said, I was way too conservative on my first run. So I'm going to be a little bit more reckless this time in speed. It'll also help me, you know, get through it a little bit faster. I'm not all that pleased to be able, you know, I mean, to have to go through this place twice since it is sort of repetitive. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. Especially since the quote unquote quote reward on the final floor is something that is rather entertaining. Um, you'll see when I get there. Uh, I could have conserved arrows here before if I would have just used the claw shots like I did back at the, um... Um... Ah, the eighth dungeon... No, the seventh dungeon, excuse me. <laughs> the sky place thingy. I can't, I can't believe I can't think of the name of the place right now. I... Oh, the city in the sky, that was it. Wow, I'm, I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> Oh, and I also looked up a few fun facts for this place, in uh, that you can find hearts on specific floors, like, they aren't... They are... they aren't random or anything like that. You can actually find them on certain floors each and every time, and those floors are 8, 18, 22, 27, 34, and 45. You can also find rupees, you know, buried under the ground, like you can find hearts on those respective floors, on floors 14 and 39. Oh god, the archer room. <laughs> These rooms are probably a good place to uh, get arrows back if you, you know, use a lot of arrows. Because you can just have them shoot stuff and yeah. <laughs> They'll kind of get stuck in the walls and stuff like that and then you can pick them up and whatnot. And okay, <laughs> just thought I would grab that just to get that out of the way. Otherwise, it'll annoy me later. Um, I should also mention that I'll probably use the magic armor a little bit just to deplete my rupee count in this run, because um, when I get to the next dungeon, I'm I'm gonna end up with having too many rupees, and I won't be able to pick up the stuff in chests again. So I'll probably just use the magic armor, like on the harder floors, just for the heck of it. Uh, the magic armor doesn't really offer you any special benefits, like when it comes to combat. In fact, you'll even get knocked back uh, the way that you would normally. Here, I'll, I'll show you here real quick. Oops. Uh, just put it on right now and let the rupees go down. Now watch, I'll, I'll take a hit. See, it, it, it's... It makes your rupees go down faster. See that? But you still get that not. You, I mean, you get that kickback effect. That that that's that's the thing that really gets you is that kickback because it, it destroys your rhythm basically. So that, that's what I mean about there not being very much benefits to the armor per se. And this armor really uses up quite a lot of rupees. <laughs> Look how fast it goes down. But that doesn't really matter at all. This place gives a ton of rupees. But I probably should use it only for the... Pfft, hit the keys already, come on. I should probably only use it for the uh, more intensive floors. And there will be, you know, those dark nuts and whatnot on the later floors. Eh, come on, guys. Oh, whoa! Where'd you come from? <laughs> Voila! Yeah, you see how many rupees I have right now? I'm pretty much going to get all the way back up to a thousand by the time I end this dungeon, most likely. Oh, jeez, this floor. 
Yep. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I, thought, I guess, kind of. These archers, as before, they are pretty much one. <laughs> One shot kill if you do the jump attack. And the jump attack is pretty handy at killing them off, actually. Because, it, you know, you just charge right for them. And as I said, you'll notice I'm being a lot more reckless here because I just want to get this place done and over with. <laughs> I'm, wait, I shouldn't actually speak with you, should I? Because you're going to ask me to transport out of here, aren't you? Yeah, you don't. I don't have to speak with you at all. Yeah. Oh, but you do say something different. Mm. Yes, I will, because the place is ever so slightly harder. <laughs> and moving on. So this is floor 11. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah I've got these guys. Oh, and the rats. Forgot about them. The dang rat infestation. I like how when you pull off their armor, the, you know, the, their, their helmets, they, they do not ever put it back on. It, you would, I mean, they obviously put this on to begin with, unless you, they can't put it on once they get it pulled off or something like that. <laughs> like maybe it once was a part of their skin and I'm actually ripping their flesh off or something like that. That's actually kind of morbid. <laughs> there we go. Look how fast I'm getting through these floors now that I'm not really worrying about um, conserving stuff. Oh, and I should also mention that uh, I, I read somewhere that for every floor you clear, you can apparently refill your bottle with fairy tears, or refill one of your bottles with fairy tears at uh, regular spirit springs. You know, not the one at the 50th floor here, but the one way, way, way back at... I mean, all the ones way, way around the world. Like the Ordon Spring, Pharaon Spring, etc. You get the idea. So that's much, much handier than having to come through here all, all over again, you know, to get just a single bottle of Fairy Tears. Which should be especially nice for the final dungeon. Although, the final dungeon is nothing like this place, so... <laughs> yeah. And there we go. Just, I'm just waiting. Come on, come on. The doors are slowing me down now. <laughs> and go. Now oh, this is the bubble room. I like it. I like that they can touch you, but they don't actually hurt you unless they do an attack. That's it's, it's kind of interesting like that because you can just let them all go towards you without like that. You know, get them all grouped together and then just slam them all at once with the spin attack. Whoop. See, that, that one nipped me a little bit, but that... But the other ones that were just touching me, that, that's actually kind of realistic, because, you know, you wouldn't actually get damaged by anything just by touching them in real life. But, you know, you can't say video games are like real life. <laughs> I'm just making a joke there, because that's a, a touch of realism you don't typically see in games. It's like, you touch an enemy, you take damage. That's just how things work. <laughs> Some games like, I want to be the guy, you explode if you ever so slightly brush a spike. <laughs> uh, keys room. And rats. It is the vermin room. And it's, I think this is the room that they actually keep coming at you. Oh, and of course on your second run, you don't have to worry about... Um, pose or anything like that because they're all gone. The pose will not respawn. You cannot get any more of those suckers. There we go. Keep going, PK Gam. I'm not even bothering to. Um, oh, I should be a wolf, actually. I just 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 to try it. I'm not even bothering to um, stay at the upper floor before I jump down anymore because I'm just speeding through it. Just to see how fast I can do this here. And... Oh, what? Is there one? Did I miss one somewhere? Yeah, defeating these as uh, Wolfling is definitely much, much easier than using your sword on them. But only when you use the uh, B button attack. There we go. And I heard some drops. Go, 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 go. Wait, actually, human. Oh, the, 
The door actually keeps moving when you're in the middle of the transformation cutscene, as well as the, um, just general menus. That's kind of interesting. Hoya! <laughs> that was fast. I'm waiting for that, um, I want to be the guy, sneaky sneak snake. Uh-oh, where is- there it is! Get them all, before they combine! Ah! <laughs> Get as many as you can! Ah! Not too bad. I think they're all gonna start accumulating together and percolating their juices. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty large. Wait, what? My sword was going right through it and it wasn't taking damage. What the heck? Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. Mm. It almost seems like being reckless is better than being... Um, as, as conservative as I was on my first run through here, because look how much, I mean, look how little health I've lost so far as opposed to my first run. <laughs> anyway, come on. Is there more? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's like a delayed reaction there. I think the door only opened when, once I, uh, um, I'll, I'll talk to you again. Once I, um, once all the chew jellies dissipated, excuse me. You know, the, the pickups that you can get from their drops in, in your bottle. Okay. <laughs> so, is that... I'm, I'm, well, I'll talk to her one more time. I just want to make sure that I get all the dialogue on the run, you know? And while I'm, I really am speeding through this place compared to what I was on the uh, first run, no, because I am uh, 12 minutes into the part or so, and yeah, and before I was, it took me like a half hour to get through the first 30 floors because of my conservative, conservative nature of my, of my first run. Wow, that's yeah, I'm really, really chewing through these critters. <laughs> There you go. Go, 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 go. Ah. You can do that jump slash attack thing when you jump off a ledge. And then, oh, go strats. When you jump off a ledge and then swing your Wii remote, it'll, it'll do that automatically. Oh, no, I want. There we go. I have to do the spinny spin there. Otherwise, they won't get off me. And it has to be the spin attack, too. It's kind of weird. It doesn't seem like if you use... See that? It, it was able to get on me, but I can't knock it... Oh, I can knock it off when I do that. I didn't know that. And... Wait, is this gonna be hearts? I wasn't really paying attention to the floor numbers because I'm just burning through these, this place. Oh. Didn't see you. Finish. Good. And human. Unless there's more ghost rats later on, of course. Go, 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 go! What is this? Oh, it's the stocking room. Little baby skeletons. <laughs> they just crumble so easily. Well, just one sword swing. Is there more? I don't know. No, there isn't. Okay. <laughs> go, 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 go! I should actually start being a little... Oh, geez. A little more careful, like in rooms such as this. You know what? I'm going to, because I don't have to be as conservative as I thought I needed to be. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I was way, way too conservative on my first run, so I avoided bomb arrows because it uses an arrow and a bomb at the same time. But I, I, I was left over with so much stuff that it threw me for a loop. <laughs> so that's an easy way to take care of the redead room. Hmm. Maybe I should go back to uh, just the regular arrows, though. Just go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no! Aha! No, I want to be the guy today, Mister. Voila! <laughs> You're hiding there. Where is the archer? Oh, there you are. Didn't see where that other one went. It's kind of hard to keep track of the archers, even though, you know, they have their flaming arrows and kind of makes them highlight when they shoot them. 
because you know the bright orange kind of stands out from the crowd but the thing is is that they are um you know what how about they do this <laughs> that is awesome bomb arrows spectacular but yeah those uh, other ones not really what if I what about you Oh my god, really? Wow. <laughs> but anyway, I was, as, I, as I was saying, it's because all the folk albums look the same, it's kind of hard to tell who's the archer and who isn't just at a quick glance. And yeah, I finally finished that sentence. <laughs> and... done. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Uh, ah. <laughs> that was spectacular. And spin! Finish! Spin some more! <laughs> Divide and conquer, preferably. Because these enemies are a little tougher. <laughs> I'm still being reckless and it's still working out. <laughs> and oh, one more. I thought that was it. So it didn't seem to be one around me for miles. Okay, not miles. This room is only like probably like a quarter mile wide or something. I don't know. <laughs> probably less. Mm. Oh shoot! I shouldn't have. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I can do this. <laughs> uh, I knew those were bubbles. It always seems like when there's skulls on the ground in this place, it's just bubbles. I don't even know why they're called bubbles anyway. I mean, they're not water-based by any means. <laughs> and wow, I've reached the 30th floor in only 17 minutes. You know what? I'm going to do the whole second run of this place in a single part. Oh, and I, I have to talk to you, don't I? Because I... <laughs> Because I'm getting through this so quickly that it that it, I just can't believe it. <laughs> and I'd like to get this place done and over with once and for all. So yeah, thank you, thank you. So I guess you do have to talk to her, even if she says the same thing to open the door to the room. Yeah, if this part turns out to be like an hour or so. Oh no 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 no! I shouldn't have done that because this is the Bemo's room. Um. Um. I'm gonna go behind here. Oh, that's a bad spot. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's kind of bad. Very bad. Okay, one down. <laughs> now I can use that one as a guard. Like I can use it to guard myself from the other one's range. Or I'm just out of their range in general. See, with all five of them active. There is not a safe spot in the room, and that, so that was a mistake that I jumped down here so quickly and recklessly, but whatever. It all worked out. There. And... oh right. Dominion Rod. Uh, so much junk. <laughs> okay, it's not really junk, because it all helps me get through the game, but yeah, you know what I mean. It's just so much to look through. Uh, torch slugs off, off the ceiling. No, I'm gonna just jump down here and then let them fall down. Because <laughs> it's it's faster to do it that way, even if I take a little damage, than to uh... <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Is that it? No, no, but red bubble. And there we go. It's faster to do that than to shoot them all at the ceiling, then jump down. You get the idea. Uh, okay, this is fine. Oh, maybe that's not that fine. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let me move. I, I was I was trying to do the Z target jump thingy, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Think you think you know the drill by now? With the redeads. Bomb arrow. Them to death. <laughs> Spectacular. Oh, one more. Good. 
It only takes two, two bomb arrows, which really speeds things up. Yeah, this second run through this place is going much, much faster. I, I gotta be careful, though, of the uh, Freezard rooms. Those, by far, were the worst rooms. Okay, what's in this else? Shoes combined with ghost rats. Because I can feel that I'm not moving. Yeah. <laughs> no more. Come on, guys. Die off already. Wait, was that a dig spot? Yes, it is. Probably hearts. Yep. Oh, just one heart. I thought they always gave you three hearts. Well, now I know. The more you know, or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just being ultra dorky here. But then again, what else is new? Ah, here's the freeze art room. And I believe you absolutely have to use the uh, ball and chain to take care of these things. I don't think you can just, like, um, use... You know what, I'll, I'll experiment with that, actually. I'll try a bomb arrow. What? Oh, it's just bouncing off them. I expected at least some sort of explosion, but looks like they, looks like it just completely incinerates them. I mean, it, it like, defuses the bomb, excuse me. There we go. Mm, I'll just jump down, the rest are okay. See, the Freezards are really annoying. They're like they're like those Beemos on the other floor in that they they have such a large range that they get in the way of the entire room. And yeah, and now I can divide and conquer the mini Freezards. And boop, done. <laughs> Oh, I should have used this reckless style in the first drone. I'm doing better than I did. Uh, okay. Is this the one with the hidden Freezard surprise? Hmm. Well, what I can do is... <laughs> I suppose? Although I'm using a lot of arrows. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. And I'm only breaking their um, spears as well. Okay, so I'm just going to switch back to that and take them on normally, I guess. Down, one down. It's just that they're so good at teaming up on you, because you'll, you'll see that a couple of them shoot at a distance, while others just try and close in on you for close combat, stuff like that, and it's hard to manage both of them at the same time. <laughs> oh, and I realized I made a mistake with the uh, mortal draw. I, again, I was detargeting, and it's just such a force of habit before that I didn't realize that I was, and yeah. <laughs> it, I, I guess I'm a very, very traditional um, battler, so to speak, in that I don't really make much of... Um, Like, I don't notice my other intricacies that pff, that I should be noticing in order to pull off a move or something like that. And dang it! <laughs> there we go. These, pff, <laughs> these rooms are by far the most annoying. These guys are probably the best at combat. <laughs> Can I kill you off? Yes. Okay. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I got my shield. <laughs> as long as I'm Z-targeting, I automatically shield. And that's why I like to Z-target all the time as well. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go! Actually... Yeah, bubble room. Probably combined with something else. Oh, levers. Yep. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Just so they weren't closed in enough around me. Is that it? Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Good. And what do we have here? Uh, okay. 
This is another room that's gonna be trouble. Uh, 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 no, I'm not gonna fall down this room, because that's... The... Hey, I can do that. I didn't know I could bait some of you guys up here. Oh. Yeah, because the first time I was in this room was the one where I accidentally dropped down before I attempted to... Um, hit the freeze out before I drop down. It looks like it's out of my range though, which is unfortunate. And they are going to restrict my range heavily. Eh, can I shoot, like, one hit kill the ice bubbles? Oh. Well, I can. Hmm. <laughs> need to get something that's, you know, predictable enough that I can shoot it down. The ice keys take less damage, which is why I'm not too concerned about them. I mean, they uh, take less to knock them out. Alright, I'm going to... Oh, come on, I hit the wall of all things. Just want to take care of one, that's all. I keep hitting the wall because I'm not turning around close enough to him. There we go. Ow. <laughs> yeah! Take care of you while you are stunned a little bit and don't have your spear. Take care of you just because you're there. Uh, I might oh, you got your spear back. Oh, and another one's seen me. <laughs> Dang you! I hate their team ups! That works. That didn't work. <laughs> it is quite easy to aim for them with the uh, ball and chain when you just Z target and then throw the ball and chain. The ball and chain is one hit kill, but it is so slow that it's kind of hard to get a hit off on them. Boop. And. Boop. Alright. Um, okay, I was a lot more successful on this room than I was the other time. Which works for me. <laughs> and... Wait, what is that? Iron knuckle, iron knuckle. And is that an iron knuckle under me? No, that can't. This can't be another. I mean, this can't be a three iron knuckle room, could it? Oh my! <laughs> it is. Right, I'm going to. Hey, wait, wait. That that worked right there. Did you see that? Hit my shield, and then I attack you. Hit my shield. Come on. Hit me. Hit the shield and hit me against the wall. Oh, I'll, check. I'll keep trying that, because I've seen that worked. Oh, I think I got a strategy! Uh-oh, did the other one see me? Oh, okay. Can, can I do the same thing with you? Or are you too swift, Mr. Swift? Mm-hmm. Mm, you might be too swift. I'm just trying to stay on this corner so I don't alert the other two. It's the divide and conquer thing. It just makes Iron Knuckles a whole lot easier than taking care of, I mean, taking on three at one time. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I didn't think that would work because it's just far too slow. Come on. I need you to go. Is that it? Okay, one down. I need to attract one of them now. Oh, he's seen me. So I will stay on this corner. And Z target. Wow, three iron knuckles. I mean, two three iron knuckle rooms in this dungeon. That is definitely much harder than it was before. <laughs> um, oh, that also works there when he's swinging his thing. Is swinging his giant axe, or he's winding up to swing it. I have, I have the opportunity to swing at him while his defenses are down. Why didn't I notice that before? 
maybe because I was focusing on two or three at the same time, and I didn't really notice the intricacy of the typical iron knuckle. Um, swing your thing. There we go. That's how it's done. <laughs> um, you'll notice I put a lot more concentration into the Iron Knuckle battles because they are way, way harder than your typical enemy room. Oh, he's outside my spin attack range. I'm not even sure that would work anyway. Yeah, I guess he's guarding too well. Let's try. Oh, got a little off balance there. Swing! Oh! That jump attack seems to knock him off balance. That seems pretty good. Alright, one more. So, if I were to wait until you're, you're gonna swing... What?! <laughs> okay. Okay, well swing your thing. Well, not like that. I want you to do the overhead swing. And I'll do that. Oh, that works so well! Why didn't I notice that before? Okay. Whoop. Okay, jump attack. Nah. Jump attack to throw you off balance. Oh. Not gonna be affected by the jump attack now, huh? Are you? I guess you, you're only affected by that once you do your attack and then I throw you off balance. That, I guess. There. Not too shabby. A measly blue rupee for that. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, my rupee count is at a thousand again. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so this is the 40th floor. Ten more to go, and I am done. And I still haven't used a potion, wow. Just watch, next next room is just gonna devastate me. Um, oh, it's this one. Now, how do I want to go about doing this anyway? Like, these guys are mondo annoying. Like, what, what item would be the best item to use against these things? I'm gonna go around the back side, just like automatically from the start. And... No, 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 no! There we go. Hmm, I don't really like when they group like that, but I just want to get... I don't want to, like, get backed up in a corner or something like that, and it's always better to be behind them than in front of them, obviously. I should say behind the group than in front of them. But they are they are very slow, so I guess it's not all that big of a deal. And maybe I should be more reckless as I said, just to speed things along here. Because I'm not too pleased, as I said, with having to go through this place again. Well, technically I, I don't have to. Since I already unlocked the uh, fairies at Spirit Springs and whatnot, but it's it's worth the uh, added challenge for the second run. But it's just that, what I mean by that, it's, it is fun to go through, but it's not... It's not the kind of place that inspires commentary. <laughs> it's... It's very repetitive, and that it's just battle, 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 battle. Yeah, you get the idea. So that's... That's why I like to have variety in the games that I play and whatnot. Okay. I suppose the combat is, it does have enough variety in each room because you do have different setups and whatnot. But still, I think you get what I mean here. Alright, I'm gonna jump off to the side and track a couple of these guys. I don't really care all that much about the Baba Serpents because they are uh, set in place. I can take care of them one at a time if, I, if need be. It's the Book Goblins that uh, will give issues. There we go. That takes care of them. And now I can start dealing with you. 
As a matter of fact, they don't even... They aren't even threatening from an attacking standpoint, because you can guard their uh, chomp chomp. See that with your shield? So, just watch. <laughs> no problem. And that's all. And, as I said before, I should probably start using my magic armor just to deplete my rupee stash as I go. Uh-oh. Archers. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, jeez. So many arrows going everywhere. It's Don Maku. <laughs> ja. I wonder if I should use a blue potion soon, just, you know, just to play it safe. I don't think I'm going to need more than that one blue potion in this run. Because it's just going so well. Being aggressive is definitely better in this place than being conservative, like in my first run. So, maybe you should skip the other two videos that I made, just made and just watch this one for your um, pit uh, strategy needs, so to speak. Oh wow, we got a lot of armor, armor lizophoses. Not that the, these lizophoses are very tough, but it's the thing of that they they kind of block your moves, just like a um. Why can't I say the name? <laughs> finish, finish, finish! Oh, just like a dark nut can. Excuse me. Uh oh, they've seen me. I've been spotted. Wait, how many are in this room? I didn't see how many were in this room before I jumped down. I just jumped down. <laughs> Come on. This is all about them being a little bit more annoying. Uh, alone, they wouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Just like uh, I dealt with the single dark nuts at a time. But yeah, you get the idea. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Yeah. Alright, what else is in this room? Oh, it's three deads. So, I'll do bomb arrows. Player safe. <laughs> Did that just... Oh, I thought it annihilated it in one shot. I was going to say. Because it takes two of them. Okay, I'm gonna jump down there so it makes the shots easier. Oh, and I completely miss. Nice going, PK Gam. Way to conserve your bombs. <laughs> and there we go. Unless there's more. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna... Just do this. And move on. Oh, wait. Now move on. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Because I know there's that freezer directly under me because I remember that from the first run. But I don't know where it's pointing. That, that's kind of an issue. Can I get, like, the camera to flip around under the platform? Can you... Can you see where I am, or are you just... Oh, you're pointing forward, okay. So I'm going to... Oh, no! You're not pointing forward! <laughs> and there's ghost rats. Oh, I remember now. That's even worse, because I can't... Because I can't do... I mean, I can't kill off the freeze guards. Come on. Well, that's better. Alright, it's back to a human. Hopefully there's no more rats. And I want to go and do this. And not get frozen. And that! Same with you. And, oh, shh, I'm a second loser. There we go. <laughs> Dang ghost rats. So annoying. Uh-oh, no, no, no. That's fine, I guess. As 
long as I can get two hits off of you, I'm good. I don't want the other ones to see me. Not, I don't mean the mini freeze outs, I mean the uh, uh, combat ice guys, I forgot the names. <laughs> I mean, I don't know their names offhand right now, excuse me. But that's okay, I'm concentrating more on fat fighting anyway. <laughs> I want to do that. It's a little too late now. And yeah, I know you're still here, but you were on the other side of the room. You weren't really paying much attention to me. Maybe I was outside your throw range. Eh. Good. I'm forgetting a lot of names of things lately today. <laughs> but who cares, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, this is the trap room. <laughs> oh! Lot of rats. Oops. I wonder if I should be a wolf for this one. Although it's it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. Just go around the perimeter of the room now, looking for the rats. I, sh I should have did the spin attack and they were all jumping at me at once. That would have been Mondo handy. Mm, okay, good. Boop. Let's see. Uh, Dark Nut plus... Uh, Lizaphos. Wait, wait. Oh, Aerophos, excuse me. That's not an issue, for the most part. <laughs> Alright. You guys, one at a time, please. I am more than you can handle. <laughs> Alright, put up your shield. There we go. That's what I was worried about was the other one, but, yeah, whatever. Ugh. As long as I kill one off, that would be really nice. Uh oh, or at least the uh, weaken one off. The the um, the dark uh, dark knight is way way too slow to compete with these two in terms of a battle level. <laughs> way to jump to the side there, PK Gam. That was pro. I don't know which one was the weaker one. I lost track of their positions when they got off camera. Or I mean off screen, excuse me. Oh, one down. Wait for it. It's gotta put up its shield in order for me to grab it. There we go. Yeah! And that was the weakened one. Okay. Now I can deal with the dark nut. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. I need you, need you to do the overhead. Like that. And that's how it's done, baby. Overhead. I don't really mind when he does that, because... He can do that all day. And I'll just guard it instantly every time. <laughs> oh, aw. Just gotta wait for him to raise his arm. Like that. Oh, what? There we go. Mm, phase two. I really got the hang of taking care of Dark Nuts now. <laughs> Throw it off balance. And take it down. A green rupee for that, wow. That's kind of embarrassing, actually. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Three over there, and there's one below me. There's four. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this has got to be the last room because it's got the triple colored ones there. Oh. Okay. Swing up. It's gotta be a vertical swing in order for me to do this. I just gotta make sure I divide and conquer. 
Oh, that works too, I guess. As long as he doesn't push me too far away. <laughs> Alright, just do not attract the other three, as long as they aren't together. They do not stand the chance. I'm so excited to finish this place, because I'd like to move on with the game and finish her off. I am uh, itching to play Kirby 64, which is my next walkthrough. That I've been wanting to do for years. <laughs> I couldn't because of technical limitations and whatnot. Um, I just need to come... There we go. As long as I don't attract one of the other ones, I'm good. Uh-oh. I did! No! Can I take care of you? Oh no, I attracted the blue one too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no way to blow it, PK Gam. Well, maybe this will be okay. As long as I just keep focusing on one. Yep. I do not want all three at once, so that would... That would suck. <laughs> uh, vertical swing. There we go. Oh, didn't jump to the side enough. There we go. Ah, oh, the other one's shield is blocking my attempts to get more damage off them. Oh, oh there we go. And dodge! Okay, let's take care of Swifty here. Oh, oh, oh. Although that might be an issue. Yeah, I'm watching you. I know you're there. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. Um. Maybe I should try the mortal draw. Like, well, I, I was I was attempting it before without Z targeting, but I got my uh, my sword all like, what? I thought I had to have my sword all then hold. I'll never get that technique down, will I? <laughs> there we go. I, see, normally you would put away your sword. I, I just don't really get how that works. Because <laughs> you see, when you put away the, I mean, if you press the A button. You will put away your sword if you're not locked onto something normally. Even if you're holding it down, it's kind of weird. Uh oh, did I attract the other one? I hope I didn't attract the other one. Okay. I'm getting a little bit too far to the right. No. no. Attack me. You. It only seems to be... I mean, I only seem to be able to throw you off when you're about to attack or you are attacking me. <laughs> oh, one down. Well, one more down, I mean. Oh no, I trapped the other one! Now I have to deal with two of them again. This last floor... It has decided to kill me in every which way possible, didn't it? Oh. It's a good thing I had an invulnerability period. <laughs> attack, 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 attack! Aw. Oh. Uh, keep going. Yes! One down. I mean, one one more down. I keep saying one down. That's because I'm focusing so hard on the combat. <laughs> Less commentary, more combat, I guess. <laughs> yeah! Hey, oh. No, no, no. Good. Just this one left. And this dungeon is done, I think. If I... If this is really the last floor, it should be the last floor. Because four Dark Nuts, I mean, come on now. <laughs> Threw him off balance. 
Okay. Yeah. <sighs> what, what? I thought I thought that was the end. <laughs> it certainly sounded like I killed him off there. Oh, there we go. Now I'm sure you died because you turned black and rotted away instantly. And I still didn't use my magic armor. <laughs> ah, whatever. I should say I didn't use it for the most part. And here is your special prize on the 50th floor. The Postman! He's like, I think you were lost. It's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> why and how did he get in here? I mean, why did he get in here in the first place and how did he manage to get through all of that? The Postman is clearly the toughest guy in the entire game, you know, next to Link. <laughs> And that is the funny message that awaits you. And if you jump down there before you talk to him, you know you're going to have kind of a hard time talking to him again. <laughs> because, you know, he's way up there and you can't talk to him. But, yeah, that is the special prize at the 50th floor. Like I said, it's completely optional for everything. So this was pointless for the most part, but worth doing, I think, for that little postman cameo there for the lulls. Why, thank you, and I did even better than I did the first time, because I was being reckless. Apparently, recklessness works much better. <laughs> and I got some more Great Fairy Tears. I'm pretty sure all my bottles are full of tears now, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no boom boom? Fine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you really quick here. Well, not the fairies, but I, I mean, I'm gonna show you the fairies. Well, I guess I could show... I mean, they are the fairies that the spirits move out. I'm just mumbling here, because I've been talking for 52 minutes now. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what the spirit springs lo look like now. Whoops, excuse me. After I unlock the fairies at those spirit springs, so I'll go to the Ordon Spring. you already seen the Lanru Spring. You know, right now, because <laughs> for some reason the cave of ordeals poops you out over there. I don't quite get it either. I guess you're warped over there per se, but I would think you'd be warped outside more than anything. And so, yeah, th this is apparently the place where you can. I mean, you can now get um, tears from these springs now, and yeah, you can get them at this place to refill your bottles and whatnot. Oh, and I should also mention, if you're at full health, you won't pick up fairies, so that makes it easier to bottle them as well. I think that's a nice little touch, because in other Zelda games, you would accidentally... Um, I think this is correct. Wait, wait, no, no, no. No, here, that's correct. Because uh, in other games, you'd accidentally pick up a fairy and before you would bottle it, you know, and then you couldn't pick it up, and that's kind of annoying like that. Alright, yeah, this is the correct place to show you the other spring that you can find the fairies at. Yep, here they are. They are fluttering happily, and I'll speak with you for the heck of it. Uh, you guys are all carbon cutouts of each other, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, so here's my inventory now. Fairy tears, fairy tears, rare chew jelly, fairy tears. Rare chew jelly is the equivalent of the fairy tears. My, I am set to go for the final dungeon. Uh, last one. Uh, Kakariko Village. There we go. And then after I show you this spring, I will end off the parts. It warps me right back at the... Uh, spirit Scream because I've warped a Kakariko so many times! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And yeah, here's the last one, the fairies. They don't look all that much different except they have fairies fluttering around there. And you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna say the same thing as the other ones. Uh, okay. Alright! I'm done commentating. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed! That was a lot of commentary at once, I'm starting to get a little hoarse, and I'm mumbling a lot. So, I will see you in the next part when I have hopefully recovered.